Running back for the Washington Redskins. The Redskins brought back Adrian Peterson after a highly productive year. How productive was Adrian Peterson's year? Here's how productive. It was so productive that we had somebody write in to our our customer support line believing that the consistency chart data that we had was wrong because Adrian Peterson was so high. Did you see that? No. He was so productive in Washington. Chris Thompson, always injured, always uh, limited, dynamic when he's out there. But Darius Geis, look, he tore his ACL, his left knee, during the first preseason game last year. Mike had been texting me highlights of him right before it happened. Yeah, that that sucked. And he uh, he underwent reconstructive surgery. Then an infection forced him to have three additional procedures to drain fluid from the knee. It delayed his rehab. Now he's back to doing agility drills, but all reports say he's nowhere close to 100%. And our, our injury expert from the Ultimate Draft Kit, he says, look, you can't take the infection lightly because it delayed the rehab and recovery. Um, I don't believe you're going to get a workhorse with Darius Geis, but that doesn't mean... He's not a fantasy wild card because the potential for Darius Geis is three down potential, right, Mike? Yes, it absolutely is. I mean, he's not his his production profile coming out of college was not that of a monster pass catcher, but you have to take into account where he came from of LSU. The same thing happened with Leonard Fournette. Darius Geis was an incredible talent coming into the running back position in an absolute juicy spot. Uh, at Washington, where you I mean, you saw what Adrian Peterson did with his old decrepit body, and, and I'm with you, Andy. That what Darius Geis could be is a top twenty running back. I'm not going to put Darius Geis say the ceiling is a top ten guy, but he could easily be a top twenty guy if he if he were healthy and and getting the actual workload. But with them bringing back Adrian Peterson, they drafted Bryce Love, who has, he's dealing with his own injury, but they spent a fourth rounder yes. on an injured running back, almost just a, a cue card telling the fantasy industry that Geis is not 100%. We're very concerned about Darius Geis, not just for this year, but for the, for the future of this franchise. And at a minimum, you could be looking at a situation where, look, I don't know if the second half of the year for Darius Geis is all of a sudden – fantasy superstardom right. for your team because the cost, I mean, I have him ranked at 40, uh, but his average draft position is in the fifth round right yeah, now. Yeah, he's currently, according to Fantasy Football Calculator, the RB26. That's yeah. too high. It, that's too high for you to take the chance that that he's what, a top 20 back? Like, yeah. The, the chance to me is, okay, he, he is the guy – He's not going to get the receptions, but he's going to be the man on the ground. He's going to be very good, and maybe he's the running back fifteen. So, like, I'm, that would be great value. Uh, it would be okay value, but I I don't feel like I mean that's that's like I believe ceiling. I think if he if he takes the role and was is okay with it, he's in the twenties. He's where he's being drafted. So like, think, and, but the risk on the other side is he's worthless. Sure, I think the fifth round is too high for me to want to be a part of the wild card experience here with Darius guys and it hurts me because in the beginning of the offseason I actually acquired him in a dynasty league now I've since moved on but I did it because I I you know I believed he was further along in the recovery and ahead of the Adrian Peterson resigning and things like that I think there's a great future for Darius guys I'm not sure it's this year he certainly is a wild card I believe that his draft place like where he's drafted will range uh wildly uh, among different leagues it's just what you believe about him right um it's hard to find a guy that could be a three down skill set on a team that wants to give somebody that responsibility but there's too many variables with peterson and thompson and bryce love and the injury i think that the draft price is is okay i mean that there are players behind him like david montgomery but montgomery and his mop opportunity are going to come in and they're going he'll be higher than Darius guys come actual draft season in August but I think it, in fact it's fair it's a fair f factoring in what he could be with the injury instead of people just completely discounting him and throwing him away 
Thank you so much for watching that video. It would make me so happy if you watched more of those videos. So click subscribe, ring that bell, and make your life a little better today.